this is Crystal from Lookout Mountains Incline Railway and you're watching Hot Rod Madness. Welcome to Hot Rod Madness, where we believe that every car has a story. Whether your car is a ground pounding, tire smoking street machine or a trophy winning classic with blinding chrome and paint, Hot Rod Madness wants to hear your story. Who knows, maybe your story will inspire future generations to dream, build, and own their own classic rides. Here to bring you those stories is the host of Hot Rod Madness, Tim the Milkman, along with the Hot Rod Madness crew. Welcome back to Hot Rod Madness. Let's join Tim the Milkman and the Hot Rod Madness crew at the Clay County Car Show and Swap Meet in Lineville City Park in beautiful Lineville, Alabama. Mike, how are you, man? How's it going? Good to see you again. Good to see you again, yeah. Mike. Last time out, if you watch Hot Rod Madness, you'll know Mike here brought us a Beautiful C10, isn't it? What, it and, was uh, the 61 Apache that that you uh, okay. that you uh, interviewed me on. I think that was in the Avondale Park Avondale, in Alabama. Yes, that red one. Well, welcome to Lineville, man. Yes, I come here every year. Wow, phenomenal turnout here, it man. It really is. It's huge. And the good Lord has blessed us with the perfect weather for it, man. God, yes. You couldn't ask for any better. No, you couldn't. Man, what a Mustang you brought. It's, it's, it's a little on the wild side. It's, yeah. Uh, you, ain't, you, you won't find one like it anywhere else. No, I don't think so. It looks like a one of a kind, sir. It absolutely is. That's that's beautiful, man. I, I love the choice of colors on it, too. Mm -hmm. And I know you have plans of repainting it. However, <laughs> before you do, we want to cover it here on Hot Rod Madness because it's so outstanding, man. What an eye catcher. Thank you. What year is that? 71. The, what well, the body's 71. All right. Everything else is 05 and, yeah. and kind of just made up okay well if you know uh anything about hot rod madness you'll know that uh smith man from hot rod madness has a 71 and uh he's a big fan of the mustangs so i'm, I'm quite sure he'll be eyeballing this thing oh yes he'll Good. pick it apart man he loves well, I'm, these I'm things i'm glad I'm, I'm a big mustang fan myself I, I can talk mustangs all day so how old is the paint job on it now uh paint job probably a little bit over a year old yeah um <laughs> yeah can't... I can't believe you're wanting to change it, man. That's beautiful. No, no, no. The paint is staying. Uh, oh, okay. The the interior, I'm saying, is going the, white. The interior. Yeah, it's it's, right. it's 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 not done. It's going the same white as the stripes. That'll be beautiful. Yeah, the interior is going going to be an eye catcher when it's done. Yeah, that'll be nice. Right. It's got late model stuff in it, doesn't it? Yes, sir. It's 05. We took an 05, mm -hmm. a crashed 05, a G G2 350 hertz. Okay. And uh, I mean, it was destroyed. So, but yeah. it had a lot of good parts in it. So we took All the right. motor and transmission out and the interior and made it fit a 71. Wow. Took uh, a lot of work, but we got it done. Yeah, I, I had a peek under the hood earlier, man. I saw what was under there. Uh, it's, it's, now, it's, it's a little crazy. Let's show the viewers what you got under there. Okay. This thing is gorgeous, man. And what craftsmanship goes into these things, man? Uh, you guys of, do some good a work. A lot of fabrication work. Yeah, you guys do some phenomenal work here. love the American flag underneath the hood like that. Mm -hmm. And that's all airbrushed. That's not decals yeah. or anything. It's all airbrushed and clear coated over. No vinyl, that's paint. No vinyl. The the F-22 here, the got the Chinook chopper, mm -hmm. the Abrams tank, the A-10 Warthog planes right there, yes, sir. and the Eagle, that's all Wow. paint. Nice, man. That's beautiful. So how many guys does it take to run a shop like you uh, got? We have, I think it's either 16 or 18 employees mm -hmm. in Patient Creations. Okay. And uh, we have 18,000 square feet, and yeah. every department of the shop is loaded up. All right. Now, who who has all this in their memory banks? Who who comes up with the designs for uh, these cars? Our manager, Mark, and yeah. Dennis, the owner of the shop, okay. uh, put them two miles together, and there ain't no telling yeah, what they'll turn out. That. Yeah, man, what an imagination. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mark's over here if you want to talk to him. Okay, well, we might catch up to Mark All here. All right. Right now, man, I want to see the rest of this car. Wow, that's beautiful. Now, what? Basically, on the outside, it's a stock 71 with just some minor modifications. We mm -hmm. tucked the bumpers in and okay. painted them body color instead of chrome. Uh, we got rid of the uh, hood lats that always, I call them head knockers that you smash yep. your head on all yep. the time. We okay. put in these flush mount locks that work right. awesome. Okay. And um, basically, the whole front half of the car was chopped off and rebuilt. 
-hmm. We uh, designed and had a frame built for this car. It's a wow. full tube chassis from front bumper to rear bumper. Wow, it's, so it's no it's, original it's a, type. It's a one-of-a-kind one of frame Yeah, gotcha. built to our, our dimensions. All right, so that makes it much more rigid, much more stout. Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's very rigid. Yeah. Well, and with over 500 horsepower, yeah. you need it. It would twist this car like a pretzel if it wasn't. Yeah, it being, you know that the body's beefed up as well, just being a convertible. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we had to do a lot of strengthening mm -hmm. inside the interior underneath the, all the carpet, a lot of bracing. That yeah. roll bar is a real roll bar. It's okay. very sturdy. That's good. Yes. Good to know. Of course, you don't want to take this baby up to no crash high rate of no, speed we, anyway, we, right? We, we don't want to do that. It will, no. but we don't want to try it. Right. <laughs> All right. The choice of wheels on this thing? It's uh, their billet specialties, if I remember right. Yes. And uh, the backs are 335s. Yeah. 13 inches wide. Okay. And they had to take two rims and weld them together wow. to make one rim. Man, I was going to say, man, that thing has to be mini tubbed or something yes. uh, to hold such a it's wide It's mini tubbed. Wheel. Yes. Uh, and that's a lot of rubber combined with 26 yeah. inches of rear tire. And yes, it will spin them. Wow. <laughs> And where's the failure to get a set of tires like that? Uh, I believe those came from Mickey Thompson. Yeah. And uh, big white letter you got, tires. Uh, the white letters are actually stick on. Are they? The the, the monster part. There's yeah. a guy in town okay. that sells those, and he sells little white wall stick ons. You can okay. either do letters or the full white right. wall, and just kind of customize your own tire. Right. So that's what we did. Well, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, Man. it works well. <laughs> With this guy's product, you can put anything on your tire. That's right. Put your name on there, whatever. Some people do, actually. I bet they yes, do. Yes, they do. Okay. That's pretty neat. All right. We got late model dash in this thing, too. It's an 05 dash. Um, wow. And it fit, actually, surprisingly well the first time. Well, I was going to say, we, man. We had to build a little filler panel between yeah. the dash and the firewall to okay. make, just to kind of fill in the gap. Yep. But the width was almost dead on. I mean, just, yeah. it, it really fit better than anybody else thought. And the console and the, the airbag is still in the steering wheel. We got all the airbag yep. sensors on the front bumper. That's I mean, good. it's still a functional interior. All the lights yeah. on it work, traction control works. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything is functional like it was in an 05 Mustang nice, still. Man. Wow. Only oh. thing is, it's just going to go the, yeah. the off-white like what the stripes are. Um, not sure how soon, but once we get everything else done in the car, mm -hmm. It'll, it'll be going all white, which I think will look incredible. That will look incredible, man. Old yes. meets new. And, and That's right. I mean, the sky's the limit with this kind of stuff, man. Oh, yeah, you, yeah. you guys will just keep getting better and better at it. Whatever our owners want us to do, yeah. we have the tools and talent to do it. We just, we just kind of go by their plans. Yeah. All right. Wow. Beautiful ride, man. Thank you. It's always I the red we got either off of it. I think it was an Audi or a Volkswagen mm -hmm. color. It was a foreign car color, as, as I remember, but I couldn't tell you exactly what it was. Yeah. We we paint so many cars, all kinds of mashing to one mm -hmm. sometimes. It's always a pleasure to see what people come up with, man. It is. Creativity. Yeah, and this one here is definitely different than a lot of the other yeah. ones. Um, with the, You see the exhaust back here with the tube chassis under it. Mm -hmm. And the car sits low. We had to kind of custom make our exhaust. And is flat oval tubing okay. and routed in and out of the exhaust and we made some notches in the rear valence for the mufflers and yeah. uh doing the exhaust was a big job on this car wow. because you just can't just take it to no exhaust shop and just have yeah. it put put it on you got to make it everything's got to be custom made yes yeah yes and i it, understand most things on this car was custom made except for the the actual body everything was hand fabricated mm -hmm. man uh you got to respect it because what goes into getting it to this level is just is just a lot of a lot of know-how going on Oh yeah, on here. it is. Uh, the guy who owns the car brought it to us, and he's a, uh, I think he's either Afghanistan veteran or Iraq veteran, but he's a military veteran. Okay. And wanted a military tribute car. Yeah. So there you go. And we just kind of took his ideas and yeah. we added our ideas and just kind of combined them to one. It says it all under the hood. There. That's right. Nice man. Well, Mike, I appreciate you showing your ride right here you. on Hot Rod Madness, buddy. Yes, yes sir. All Thank right, you. man. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Hot Rod Madness. We invite you to check back with us soon as Tim the Milkman checks out more awesome rides from the Clay County Car Show in Lineville, Alabama. From all the crew, thanks for watching Hot Rod Madness.